David Ogletree, a young man that came to our organization back in February of 2010. He basically was looking for an opportunity to apply himself to a, to a job. He was excited about getting a job. He just really wanted to work, you know, because he had never held a job. David is a final inspector. He basically looks at the garment prior to it being shipped out to our customer. Obviously, when you're inspecting a product, you need to have a lot of attention to detail. You have to fully understand what you're looking at, what the specifications are. All of it is an incredible amount of responsibility, and David takes it on very well every day. He's been very, very successful at it, very successful, particularly when you consider his significant disability. David uh, is mild, was diagnosed as being mildly autistic. Uh, his motor skills were always fine, but his social skills, his speech was delayed. When I first saw David and first met him, he was, his head was down, he wasn't interacting with individuals. He struggled in the beginning. He's, a, he's, he's very, he's a lovable person, but he's, he's, he's quiet, he doesn't, he, he observes a lot before he'll really interact with people. And uh, when he first went there, he said, they want to talk to me, I'm, I'm not talking, you know. I would ask him about his lunch, he would go across the street to eat lunch by himself, you know. A typical aspect of David's disability is that there is difficulty in dealing with the hectic environment such as we have in, in the sewing department. Sometimes I lose focus and then I have to take a break and then go back to work and then I'm back to focus, you know. Sometimes I lose concentration because I, sometimes I get easily distracted and, you know, I, sometimes I just want to take a breath, you know, break it a little. It takes a lot for David to focus and, and we accommodate him lots of times by just letting him go away from his workstation just for a few minutes. You know, I've been, I've been battling with it since I was a teenager and I always felt isolated from others because I was different from them. With the disability that he has, we know that those individuals are sometimes not given the opportunity to succeed. He loves computers, but he was putting in for jobs, and a young man that's 23, 24 years old that had never worked, by him not having any previous work experience, nobody was hiring, so I got a call from uh, the counselor at VGS, and she asked me, what did I think about him working there? I said, well, a job is a job, so if he can get that, at least he'll get some work experience. Uh, he could have just stayed at home and worked on his computer and just lived with his, with his uh, grandmother and let life pass him by. But he chose to fight for an opportunity to be a whole person. Sitting at home on the couch complaining about what someone is not doing for you is not the way to succeed in this world. He concentrates very hard on what he's doing. It's something that he excels at now. It wasn't something that came easy to him, but he worked hard to overcome the lack of concentration and has done a beautiful job. <laughs> Good morning, David. Good morning. How are you today? I think being with the people that he works around on a daily, daily basis, that is just more relaxed, relaxed for him. And, and I think it helps him to, you know, get out of his shell a little bit and be more vocal with everyone. It's a, sometimes it's hard, but I'm still, I'm still in control of me and I try not to let my disability, you know, dwarf my focus on success. David was nominated because of the hurdles that he had to achieve to just get to the level of being given an opportunity. It's just amazing for uh, him to be where he's at today, the accomplishments that he has had in the year that he's been here. He's got his head together and he knows what he wants to just getting to that point. I always wanted my independence. I look at it as I wouldn't say milestone, but a beginning. Make the best of it.